Welcome to WD-168 from the Western Diocese. Hey, God gives us 168 hours to live and to enjoy. Here's a look at a few of the news items during this past 168. Let's take a look at the world headlines. The coronavirus, new cases are being reported from China, sending fear into people's heart, and at the same time, financial markets. We hear that there's a spiral downward. More and more cases means that ruin throughout the world. We hear about political issues. Of course, the president gave the State of the Union. The impeachment is being debated in the Senate. And over in Europe, we've got Brexit taking place. In the Middle East, we've got a hotbed of issues, so many that you can't even think about. You can't even put them together. But last Sunday, we all took a break and we focused our attention on Miami, Florida, where the Chiefs and the 49ers went at it. And in a 31 to 20 victory, the Chiefs came out as the champions of Super Bowl 54. And along with all that, had commercials in between each of those, those plays. And you start thinking about it. What was the purpose of this game of moving that football? Do you realize that each of those commercial, those ads cost $5.6 million every half a, every half a minute? Is, is that right? $5.6 million every half a minute? That's more than the budget of all the Armenian churches. That's kind of wild. Wasn't that Mr. Peanut adorable? Yeah, he, was, he was cute. Yeah, those commercials are neat. But it makes us think, how much money are they spending to get us to buy one type of drink, to buy one kind of potato chip, one kind of car? How many Doritos chip, how many avocados from Mexico do they have to sell to recoup 5.6 million every half a minute, let alone make a profit? But they do it, they spend it. And then here in our Armenian churches, uh, we talk about like $50 extra here. If babam, do you realize these people have it all laid out? They're spending money to bring people in. And we talk about, oh no. Don't get me started. The Super Bowl. Congratulations, Chiefs. Last Sunday was also 02, 02, 2020, a palindrome, backwards and forwards, the same date. It also was Groundhog Day, February 2nd. Now you say, what's that doing on an Armenian church show? Well, did you know that Groundhog's Day is exactly midway through the midwinter and it is 40 days off of Christmas? Yes, it is called Candlemas or the presentation of the Lord to the temple. 40 days, the, the scriptures tell us, 40 days after his birth. Well, if you counted it from the Armenian Christmas, January 6th, it comes out to February 14th. Yes, it's Diyaran Tarach, and that's what Groundhog Day is. It's basically the Western version of what we celebrate at the Aron Tarach. And we take this opportunity to remind you, coming up February 13th on the night before the Aron Tarach, you're all invited to the Western Diocese where we're gonna have a huge celebration of reminding us the presentation of the Lord and our commitment. We take place with fires and all kinds of good stuff. Hope you make it. Seattle, Washington. Would you know that there's an Armenian community? Well, there's been one for several years. And this year in Seattle at the Holy Resurrection Church, Father Vazgen Boyajian welcomed 80 students, Armenian school students, where they not only participated in the divine liturgy, but received Holy Communion, receiving the blessings of the church. We bring this to your attention so that you see, not only in the big cities, but also in places that we think are remote, we have these beautiful communities sharing the love of God and bringing people to church. I want to remind you, coming up, soon is going to be Reclaim 2020. This year, Reclaim Etchmiads, and you are not going to want to miss this one. March 13th, 14th, and 15th at the Western Diocese headquarters in Burbank. Do what you can. Mark it on your calendar. There'll be more information coming up soon. Lent starts this month. February 24th is the first day of Lent, and you'll want to come 
Wednesday, February 26th for the Women's Prayer Day, kicking off the Lenten season and following up every Wednesday at your local church as well as at the Western Diocese. And until next week, I want to remind you, use some WD-168 because God gives us 168 hours to share, to love, and to enjoy. God bless. Thank you.